Hi folks, Max from ACC1Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a backup and a backup ROM and also restore your ROM. Very easy to do. This can potentially save you uh, later on. I highly suggest you to make a backup ROM. If you haven't, um, go ahead and follow these instructions. Of course, before we begin, you will need a rooted ACC1. I have uh, rooting instructions for Windows, Mac, and Linux on my site, ACC1Root.com. Go ahead and check there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and reboot into um, Torp Recovery. And you should have Torp Recovery if you use my root method. Uh, make sure under power, uh, under fast boot, make sure fast boot is turned off. Otherwise, you won't be able to boot into the, um, the Torp Recovery. So go ahead and power off your phone. And I'm going to take my case out for just one second here. Uh, and once your phone is powered off, go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button uh, together for about three seconds until you see the bootloader menus. There we go. Once you see the bootloader menus, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, recovery using the volume down button and go ahead and hit the power button. This will get us into recovery. It'll say enter recovery. You'll be in twerp. Um, and if you want to make a backup ROM, go ahead and simply go to backup, all right? And I suggest choosing boot, data, and system just like that. And also you can set it backup name, you can press that, and this will back up uh, your ROM. Now once you do that, it will back up your ROM, and uh, if you want to restore, you can go to restore and your backups should be here. Let's go ahead and try a backup real quick, so I'm going to go ahead and swipe. And this will back up whatever ROM you have. Backing up ROM uh, pretty much saves everything on your phone, your settings, your apps. Um, it's not going to back up the contents of your uh, photos and videos in your internal storage, such as your uh, daughter's you know, photos and stuff. That will still be there, um, just it will not back it up. Backing up ROM just means the whole system, your settings, your you know, uh, even your email, password, um, all of that stuff it's going to back it up as a whole ROM system. So this should take about uh, 10 minutes and uh, if you have a lot of apps it might take uh, even longer. Um, so I'll be back when this is done. Now it is almost done. Um, I know some of you may have questions about where the backups get stored. They get stored under the directory called twerp in your internal storage. Um, so you'll be able to actually find all of your backups uh, in that directory, most likely timestamped, or also you can name them, rename them. And uh, if, if it's taking too much space in your internal storage, you can copy the whole tour folder into your computer uh, and then copy it back in the exact same location when you need to restore. Now, if you need to restore your ROM, this you don't have to do a wipe or anything like that. Uh, let's say you end up in a soft boot loop or something goes wrong with your custom ROM. Go ahead and boot into Torp Recovery like I showed you in the beginning of this video. Go to Restore and go find the folder um, that uh, you backed up. So it actually time spamped 2013, uh, June 18th, which is today, and uh, actually 1620, 420. Ooh, how do we do that? It's actually 220 here. Uh, but anyway, it says 420 um, on 26 seconds. So that's the my backup. I'm going to go ahead and restore this, and this will restore my system data boot, uh, which basically it will you know, put it in the same state I backed it up. It's like a time machine for your HTC One. And I'm going to show you that after I restore everything, everything's working fine. But now this will work if you're on a custom ROM, if you're on the AOSP ROM, it doesn't matter. If you uh, later on, if you restore your ROM using this method, you'll get it back completely in the state that you backed it up. So that's why the beauty of backing up restoring ROMs. And also, if you want to try different ROMs, let's say uh, you want to try Sandwich and Mod, um, and you want to maybe switch between the two ROMs, you can have like two or three different backups. Let's say one is for your uh, Sinogen Mod 10.1, one is maybe Trick Droid ROM, or one is a stock ROM. You can kind of switch back and forth. Uh, of course, you know when you restore a ROM, it's going to also restore all of your app data from when you backed it up. So just note that, and you can also use a third-party app like Titanium Backup App, uh, which will back up all of your apps uh, separately, and that way you can also restore your apps with app data, the latest app data, while switching between ROMs. 
Um, so this should take about the same time it took me to back up, about 10 minutes. So I'm going to let it aside and I'll be back when this is done restoring. Alright folks, so once it's done, you'll get this uh, restoring everything uh, done completely without any errors. I'm going to go ahead and reboot system to show you that my restoration of my backup was um, successful. And uh, yeah, I've never had a failed uh, restore on any phone yet. So this is actually one of the best ways um, to, you can, you know, uh, back up your ROM and restore your ROM. And it can, you know, save your day when you need to kind of, uh, you know, maybe have important calls coming and something went wrong with your custom ROM. Go ahead and restore and uh, there you go. And uh, it is upgrading. Uh, that's probably because it cleared cache, but there, boom. I've got exactly the same. Um, so that's how you back up and restore your ROM. Make sure you back up ROM at least once with your stock ROM after you root. Uh, and uh, yeah, as always, if you have an HCC1, um, don't forget to sign up for our email list at uh, hcc1root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. Uh.